I am in Aberystwyth in West Wales for a town with a population of about 16,000. It is quite isolated, being 70 miles from Swansea, 75 miles from Shrewsbury, the nearest big towns. There is a pier here and a funicular railway. The town may be reached by rail and there is also a narrow gauge railway that runs 11 miles to Devil's Bridge. A lovely sunny day, early April, quite tranquil. The Aberystwyth Funicular Cliff Railway has been operating since 1902. Fine views of Aberystwyth can be obtained from Constitution Hill. Aberystwyth Royal Pier was the first pier to open in Wales in 1865. It had an original length of 242 metres, but over the years, due to storms, it has been considerably reduced in length. Aberystwyth War Memorial was unveiled in 1923. It was designed by Mario Rutelli, an acclaimed Italian sculptor. It's quite a spectacular war memorial. It's difficult to imagine that Aberystwyth Castle was such a formidable structure all those years ago. Sadly, as early as the 14th century, the castle began to decay, probably because of its proximity to the sea, the pounding waves the spray from the sea will probably have been blown against the stonework and over the years caused such a lot of decay. This is a view of the town from Constitution Hill, up which the Funicular Cliff Railway runs. The marina is quite pleasant to walk around, seems a quite a modern marina. It is home to over 150 berths. This is the old college, part of Aberystwyth University. The clock tower was built to celebrate the millennium, but it is not the original clock tower that stood on this site. The original clock tower was built in 1858, and it stood at the top of Great Darkgate Street. The clock had been erected to mark the spot where the Aberystwyth Guild Hall had stood from 1770 until it was demolished in 1855. The original clock had three large bells which sat at the top whilst a three weight mechanism was used to keep the time and strike the bells. This tower unfortunately had to be demolished in 1956. The clock mechanism was saved however and is now on display 
in the Caridigion Museum. When you look up at the window of the museum, it is possible to see the original 12-foot pendulum, which is still swinging. Aberystwyth Railway Station. This is the Rydal Valley Steam Railway. You can pick this railway up from Aberystwyth. Goes to Devil's Bridge, a distance of about 11 miles, and the journey takes about an hour. Very picturesque, apparently, on the way. The correct name of the railway is the Vale of Rydal Railway. It is a narrow gauge heritage railway which has been operating since 1902. Its original purpose was to carry timber and ore from the Rydal Valley across to the sea and to the main railway at Aberystwyth. It is now used as a tourist railway. Nine stations along the There are actually three bridges at Devil's Bridge. The first bridge was built somewhere around 1100 and was replaced in 1753 by a stone bridge because the original one was thought to be unstable. In 1901 it became necessary to build the latest Iron Bridge because of the increased road traffic. The three bridges actually cross the River Minac. And the Minac Falls are well worth visiting. It is possible to go down Jacob's Ladder steps from the roadway and look up at the three bridges three different types of construction can be clearly seen. <laughs> oh, not really, not very bad. No, it's okay. 